so uh, this lesson will be on ground strokes. When I'm talking about ground strokes, I'm generally talking about baseline area ground strokes where you have to let the ball bounce once. So you're hitting the ball after the bounce, just like you would returning serve. Let's watch some of the best players hit their ground strokes. If you notice, when they were hitting their ground strokes, they have a lot of things in common. They're turning their body sideways. They're transferring their weight from back to forward. They're not very flicky with the ball. Um, the easiest time to hit a ball if you're a beginner to, when you're hitting ground strokes is after the apex. So it's already been to the top and it's starting to fall. That makes it slightly easier for you. But watch how they transfer their, if you notice they were transferring their weight, not being flicky, and they're using big muscles to hit the ball. They're using their body when they're hitting forehands. It's OK to have a two-handed backhand. One-hand backhands um, are a little bit more difficult for most people than a forehand. So I always suggest people to run around their backhand if they can. I feel like the baseline game is a forehand game and uh, opposite when we come to the net. But generally speaking, unless you're one of these people who have a wonderful slice backhand, the, the baseline game or the ground stroke game is a forehand dominant game. So learn how to get really good with your forehand. OK, to summarize the ground strokes, remember, every time you return a serve, you're going to have to hit a ground stroke. Um, if you miss that shot, that's the biggest mistake you can make in pickleball. You just gave away a free point. So you've got to be good at ground strokes. Hopefully, you're only going to hit, if you're playing doubles, you're just going to hit that return a serve and get to the net. So um, run around your backhand if you have to. Whatever you have to do to make less mistakes. Um, we want to eliminate a lot of arm movement. We want you to turn your body and transfer your weight and get rid of all this flicky stuff because that's, that's how most people make their mistakes. A great activity to work on your ground strokes is to get a partner, use half the court. We call that the skinny court. So play skinny singles against each other using rally scoring. So you don't have to be serving to score, but everybody must hit a ground stroke. There are no volleys allowed. That forces you to stay back. Also, your ground strokes have to go past the kitchen area. Great way. You're going to have long, long rallies hitting your ground strokes. A great drill.